Hi guys, today we will learn the inductive approach of teaching. In this video, you will be able to learn the definition of an inductive approach, theories and concepts of inductive approach, related studies about the inductive approach, and a sample lesson plan. Before we start, let's have a game first. Can you find 13 elephants in the picture? Congratulations! You found the 13 elephants in the picture. Let's have another example. Can you find the 5 horses in the picture? Congratulations! You found the 5 horses in the picture. That connects what an inductive approach is. So, what is an inductive approach? An inductive approach works from observations towards generalizations or specific to general, which is opposite to a deductive approach that works from generalizations towards observations or general to specific. It means that the teacher presents the rule through situations and sentences and thus guided practice, then the learners do free practice. After that, the teacher elicits the rule form from the learners by themselves. It is also known as a discovery learning since it is a process where the learner discovers rules by observing examples. An inductive approach to teaching mathematics starts with examples and asks learners to observe. It can be compared with a deductive approach that starts by giving learners a solution, then examples, then practice. An example of this is the topic about the area which is base times height. Rather than giving the formula, allow the students to attempt various methods to solve problems first, then introduce the rule later. In contrast with the deductive method, inductive instruction makes use of student noticing. Instead of explaining a given concept and following this explanation examples, the teacher presents students with many examples showing how the concept is used. The intent is for students to notice by way of the examples how the concept works. Inductive teaching methods also comes in many forms, discovery learning, inquiry-based learning, problem-based learning, project-based learning, case-based teaching, and just-in-time teaching. Now, let's proceed to the theories of inductive approach. Based upon a prescriptive theory of inductive reasoning, it is hypothesized that a training of an inductive strategy can enhance performance with test measuring fluid intelligence, support learning of school-relevant declarative knowledge, and improve solving of complex and dynamic problems. Few studies have also examined these methods as a group. And these studies found out how effective inductive approach is in teaching the students. Here is an example of a lesson plan of an inductive approach. In conclusion, inductive approach tends to be more efficient since the learners are more engaged in the teaching learning process. With the facilitating skills of the teachers, the learners can formulate the generalization or rule. Learning becomes more interesting at the outset because we begin with the experiences of the students. Hope you learned something from this video. Stay safe and God bless us all.